Hello, this is Ashraf from Mr. Ashraf Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to model a bottle by using cylinder. Okay, let's say you have this kind of bottle and then you want to model your bottle based on this image. Okay, what you have to do, you have to put this image as a refer reference image in your blender. I'm using Blender 2.82 by the way. And then we model this bottle by using cylinder mesh. Okay, so if you want to view on how to insert reference image in Blender 2.8, you can watch my previous video. Okay, links below. And then let's get started. Alright, so right now I'm going to delete this mesh cube. Press delete. And I'm going to go to view. Okay. Oh, sorry. View here. And I'm going to go to viewpoint. And go to front view. Okay, notepad zero if you have notepad. And then we're going to add this bottle image to your viewpoint. Just drag and Okay, and then okay, you resize a bit and you move, you grab just like that. I'm not going to touch everything else. I just use this one, okay. And then I want to uh, rename my reference here. Empty. You rename to ref bottle okay right and then you put this image into new scene collections and rename to and you rename to reference images reference yep. okay and you bring this reference bottle into this reference image collections so now it's in the any reference image you can put in these collections all right okay now click on the collection okay uh click on the image and then we reduce the alpha the opacity of the image by going here to the object data all right click there and use alpha reduce to 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 so you have semi transparency there uh move and then I want to make sure that my image in. Okay, yeah. And then I want to lock the position so it won't move anywhere. Okay, good. Press N. Go to item. Go to location and we lock these positions. Whatever position. So now your image won't we move around we lock there all right now we go start by adding your mesh okay shift a i'm going to use cylinder and i'm not going to use uh, 32 vertices okay just select 10 vertices okay leave the rest by default i don't want to touch anything Right, so I, now I have 10 vertices here, so it's in the middle of the reference image, it's okay. So now we reduce, we match the size of your cylinder to your reference image. <clears throat> um, okay, how? Right, so go to front view, I'm going to use front view, okay, front, okay. And then I'm going to uh, use wireframe, okay? So I can see clearly from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. And you can press Z, wireframe, and Z solid. I'm going to get wireframe. Oops, sorry. Wireframe. Remember. Okay, click on this, this button now. Click on your cylinder, ok, 
Okay. And then now, so I want to make sure the size is fit to the bottles. Press S. That all you can do S shift Z. So it will not up oh, sorry. S shift shift Z. Yep. Okay, so it will uh, size without disturbing, without disturbing, the disturbing without affecting the Z axis. Okay, at okay, front view, sorry, front view, S, shift, Z. And then that. Alright, cool. So now, go to edit mode. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take this okay, take this area face or whatever to the this area okay I'm going to use vertex wireframe select vertices select vertex select and Press B for box selections. Click, so it's B. You don't have to click, and then just drag this. So now you, from the front view, will select the vertices over there as well. Okay. So again, vertex B, click like that, and then we move, we grab like that. You doesn't have to go for extrude. You doesn't have to press E to add. To increase the height okay just go down somewhere like that. okay I'm following this side okay then uh, make it like that press E extrude okay click and press S okay press E extrude like then press S yeah, don't bother about this side. I'm reference to this side. Where's my screen class? It's supposed to be there. Yep. Okay, and then E again. S E again. S. Okay. So now you have this kind of loops. Okay. Loops. Okay. Front view, view, front, okay, why you frame, you press Z, why frame, okay, why we need to go for why frame so we can see the, the reference image. If you are in a uh, solid view, you cannot see the reference image. Oh, where is it? Okay. And then. Okay, now we're going to create the bottle cap. I'm not going to do the detailed bottle cap. Okay, I'm going to do like this. Shoot a little bit. Press S. Shoot. Okay. Shoot. S. Shoot. Shoot. S. S, 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 Yep. Okay. So now I have. Some. Okay. How about? At the back at the bottom. Okay, at the bottom is supposed to look shrink. Uh, to do that, okay, I'm going to add loop cut here. I'm going to slide down here, and then alternate A, vertex B, 
select this point and press S inside. Okay. Now, from the view, you can see that now I have. Okay, I will close the reference again. Now I have this bottle. Okay, I have model bottle from the reference image by using a reference image. Okay, but this bottle. Okay, let's go here and view locked camera. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Scan G. Okay. So this bottle is still not the same as I mean that this bottle is smooth okay it's rounded smooth uh, my bottle is still in uh, what we call as boxy okay it's like boxy. okay because we're just using pen vertex so to do that Okay, you can right click on the bottle and you can go to smooth to smooth up the bottles. Then you see, you have smooth the bottle, but uh, the looks is not nice. Okay, it's low crappy. Okay, see, all right. So to do this, to overcome this, okay, we can add what we call as modifier. Okay. To add modifier, we're going to add modifier what we call as subdivision surface. This subdivision surface will um, subdivide the mesh into more faces. Okay, but it will look smoother. Okay, click on subdivision surface. See, it looks smoother. Better, but still have some tweakings to do. Uh, from here, let's say you put optimal, okay, optimal, okay, you turn on the optimal, yeah, and and try to increase the render. Okay, once you increase the render, it will be smoother, but it takes your processor to works more. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm using render two viewport two characteristic. Maintain at three, and make sure I turn on optimal. Okay, if you use this one, simple. But I'm using cat mode clock. Okay, and then go back to edit mode. Okay. From edit mode, you can see the it have this uh, wireframe. Okay, this wireframe is the original. Okay, this orange is the original, and the inside is how does it look when it is in subdivision surface and shade smooth mm -hmm. you go here okay you go this is have this what we call an on cage this is edit mode okay you try to on this on cage here we'll see that yeah it looks smoother okay if you turn this off you look in original view and this one is much nicer okay so let's try to render okay all right let's do it like that let's add some mesh plane okay uh, let's try to render in cycle or workbench Like that, but it's not that good in at this side and also at the bottom side. Okay. Bottom of the bottle is not so good looking. So what I, what I will do is I want to fix this. Okay. Okay. Let's add some. Uh, look cut here, okay. All right, so let's 
more than here. Cut here. Cut there. Cut there. Cut there. Cut so this side. And let's add some. Okay. I'm playing with this. Okay. Going to add loop cuts here, so the bottom of the bottle will be nicer. Yep. Mm -hmm. So turn this off. Okay, I'm going to inset press I. So sorry. Face at the bottom. Face. Press I inset okay, and then another I and then top. I'm going to move a bit. Right. Yep. So now it looks smoother, looks nicer. How about let's try to render? Oh. <laughs> uh, lock camera to view. Turn on the plane. Render. Mm. Look much better. Okay. Right. What else? What else that we can use? Top front view. This one. I want to adjust this this one wireframe. I want to adjust this side. Alright. Okay. Okay. Now I have a smooth bottles. Okay, that is how if you have uh, a smooth objects. Okay, and let's say you create the objects from cylinder boxy cylinder, then you can have this kind of objects. Okay, all right. I'll stop here. For this video uh, in the next video I'm going to show you on how to add materials add colors to this bottle okay all right see ya in the next video bye bye